Hey guys, Matt here, and in this video we're going to be playing through Persona 5 Tactica in Japanese. In this video I'm going to be playing through this game in Japanese, but I'm also going to be breaking down all of the Japanese that we come across. So I'll be breaking down all of the Japanese as we come across in a kind of natural way for myself. I'll be highlighting the Japanese to help you follow along, and I'll be having dictionary pop-ups for things that I've either forgotten, don't know, or think might be interesting to have a closer look at. And in this video we're going to be checking out Persona 5 Tactica. This is actually brought to you directly thanks to Sega. Sega is is officially the first video game company to directly support Game Genko, so a huge love heart to Sega. They've not only given us a review copy to check out this game, but Sega's even supplied us with some giveaway codes, so you want to be in the running for a free copy of Persona 5 Tactica, just leave a comment down below sharing some of your favourite things about the Persona 5 franchise, whether it's things to help you learn Japanese with, or just favourite moments, favourite characters, or perhaps even some reasons why you'd like to try playing this game in Japanese yourself. That's it, just leave a comment down below and a lucky viewer will get a free copy of Persona 5 Tactica. So without further ado, do, let's jump right into Persona 5 Tactica and find out what this game is like to learn Japanese with. Mission Tactica. Okay, so starting things off, I always just go through the settings and just make sure to turn the actual voice acting up and the other game sounds down a little bit, just so it's a little bit clearer to actually hear everything. I generally put things at around about six or so, and then have the voice up at full. Make sure to have Jimaku on, that's subtitles, and then set the voice acting to Japanese. That's pretty cool that you can actually change this game from Japanese to English, so that's one really cool thing. Now this is the Japanese version of the game, not the English version, and that's also the same codes that I'll be giving away. So just be careful, if you buy this in English, it may not have optional language in Japanese or not. I'm not sure. I'm playing the Japanese version. And so I'm going to be playing through this game naturally, so you can both learn some Japanese, but also kind of figure out whether this game is good for you if you want to try playing this game out yourself. That does mean, however, that if there's any kind of cuts scenes that I can't pause, they're just going to play and I'm not going to be able to break down that language. However, that gives you a really good feel for what this game might be like if you want to try it out yourself. Now it's pretty obvious what's going on here, we have safety, easy, normal, hard, risky, we can tell that it's talking about the difficulty level, but just very quickly if we have a look at the Japanese it's at the top here, so we have naido, and this is the word for the difficulty setting. Naido. So definitely a very useful piece of game vocabulary that you'll see used all over the place. Then we have naido o, so we're doing something to the difficulty level, eran de kudasai. Now erabu is to select and then te kudasai is please do. So please choose your difficulty level. So I'll just pick normal, Matt. Matt Gengo, why not? <laughs> and so it says, Mato Gengo de game wo kaishi shimasu ka? So Matt Gengo de is with game o, so doing something to the game, and then we have kaishi shimasu, and this is to begin, and it's in a question, kaishi shimasu ka? So do you want to start the game as Matt Gengo? Yes, I sure do. Hi. So unfortunately, um, this is like a cutscene, I can't pause it as well. So just to keep in mind, there are unpausable cutscenes, it seems, in this game. Awesome, so this is now pushed to continue. So let's just have a look here in the bottom right, we can actually see a little bit more information. Awesome, so we do have a backlog, fantastic. So we can replay the audio, that's a really good thing. That bumps it up a lot in the tier list placement. So we can replay the audio, awesome. This is personally one of my favorite features for games to help you learn Japanese with, mostly just so you can re-listen to the audio, which is really useful for training your ear and getting used to the Japanese sounds and things like that. So really, really good. Also to help looking things up in case you missed something, or if you misunderstood something, you can kind of look back and go, oh, that's what it was. Really useful feature. I wish every game had this. Sega, if you're listening, please put logs into every single game, <laughs> please. Okay, and we can skip and put it in auto mode. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at this text. Okay, so already there's a bit of language that I haven't seen before. So what I'm going to do in this video type is I'm going to break down sentences kind of in parts. So looking at the particles and how it kind of pieces together the sentence, it's all kind of separated by particles. So first we have sono totsuzen no shisou ni seikai wa ookina sawagi to 
になっていますが、so first, その突然、その means that、突然 is all of a sudden, not the possessive particle, and then we have 失踪 and personally, this feels like the first time I've ever seen this word. As we can see here with the Yomi-chan definition, 失踪 is a disappearance, running away, going missing. So that sudden disappearance. その突然の失踪に、and に is kind of marking in. So in that sudden disappearance, 正解は、so as for the world of politics, 大きな騒ぎとなっています。So 大きな here is just a large, 騒ぎ is some sort of noise or ruckus. So a loud noise or a loud ruckus, a loud disturbance. ほなっています。This means that it's become. And then が however. So however, in that sudden disappearance, there's become a huge uproar in the world of politics. その突然の失踪に正解は大きな騒ぎとなっていますが。事件事故、もしくは何らかの体調不良などあれこれささやかれていますけども。Then we have jiken here for an event and incident. Jiko is an accident often resulting in some sort of injury. Moshiku wa, or otherwise. Nandaka no. Nandaka is of some sort, not possessive particle. And then we have taicho furyo. Taicho is a physical condition, and then furyo means it's no good. Put it together, and it's like a poor physical health. Nado is things such as. So an incident. An accident, or perhaps some sort of physical bad health. Are kore, sasaya karete imas kedo mo. So, are kore is like that and this, or this and that. And then we have sasayaku, to whisper or to murmur. Here in the passive polite form, so sasaya karete imas. Kedomo, however. So, an event, an injury, or perhaps some sort of poor physical health. It is being rumored this and that. Jiken, jiko. もしくは何らかの体調不良などあれこれささやかれていますけどもそろそろマスコミへの対処も限界ではありませんか Okay, we have our first mysterious looking character here, and they say, So, 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 Janaika, isn't it? Dewa arimasenka. So before long, isn't it the limit for dealing with the mass media also? So, 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 watashi no shui ni mo, also in my surroundings. And then here, interestingly, we actually have urusai, but here seen used with kanji. Normally it's just written in hiragana, but here we can see the characters using it with kanji. Perhaps to express some sort of feeling, whether she's speaking a little bit more formally, a bit more higher class, it could even be a little bit more intelligent. There's lots of reasons why sometimes characters will choose to use kanji rather than just hiragana to express like a different level of feeling, often some sort of intelligence or some sort of sophistication. Like kids will often talk in just hiragana to express the fact that they're not quite at that kind of level to be able to know all of these kanji. And so even when they speak, it's only in hiragana. And you'll even see that kind of treatment used with foreigners as well sometimes when you see them talk on TV. All of their speech will be in katakana, even if they're very clearly spoken. <laughs> so, urusai kobae. And we can see here this means a small housefly. Normally, hae is just for a fly, but kobae here is a small housefly. So, even around me, Small house flies are doing some sort of action here marked with the ga particle. Urusai kobae ga tobi hajimete kita. So, tobu is to fly, hajimeru is to begin, and then te kita means come to do. So, they've come to start flying around. Tobi hajimete kita no des kere do. No des explaining something, kere do, however. So, even in my surroundings, small annoying house flies have begun to fly around, however. Watashi no shui ni mo. うるさい小林が飛び始めてきたのですけれど。なーに、今のうちだけです。心配には及びませんよ。なーに、what? 今のうち、meaning literally within now. Uchi is like inside, ima is now, so now. Dake, only, and then des, polite speech to be. So, 
What are you talking about? It's only for right now. Shinpai ni wa oyobimasen yo. Shinpai is some sort of worry or concern. Ni oyobu is to reach or to amount to something. And then ni wa is as for reaching to. And what is it amounting to? Shinpai, stress. What are you talking about? That's just right now. That doesn't amount to anything you need to stress about. And he has this kind of teaching tone to it because he has the yot particle at the end. So he's almost like informing her of something or reassuring her of something. What are you talking about? That's just for now. This doesn't amount to any concern. So are is that, so he's referring to something mysterious. Are ga, so that doing something. Are ga sakarao. This means to go against something or to defy something. Nado, things such as that. Tote, as we can see here, meaning it cannot possibly, not by any means. It is utterly or absolutely arienai. It's impossible. So it's absolutely impossible for that to do something like defy. <laughs> then we have Hufu here expressing her laughing, and then she finishes off with Tashkani, certainly. So, <laughs> certainly, that's true. Tashkani. <laughs> それはともかく。So kind of like be as that may. あちら、that の準備。This is preparation. So preparation for that. あちらの準備の方は。方 is the direction or the side of something. は、as for that. とどこりなく。This is another new word for me personally. とどこりなく。Without delay, smoothly, or without a hitch. And we can see this stems from the word とどこり。For stagnation or a hindrance or some sort of delay. So とどこりなく。Without some hindrance, without some delay. I feel like I've seen this word before, but I've forgotten it. And this happens all the time. Don't feel too bad about it. It. It's totally fine. It happens to everyone. Just look it up quickly and move on. It's totally fine. So, be it as that may, as for those preparations, are they without delay? Yes. So, here a bit more rare piece of language. Ne is like the root of something, and then mawasu is like around. And as we can see here, it's using this expression to lay the groundwork for something. So, ne mawashi wa, as for laying down the groundwork, susunde imasu yo, it is advancing. And then again, he's informing her of something, he's informing her that the laying down of the groundwork is advancing, and so he uses the yot particle here to add that level of kind of teachiness to it. Yes, the laying down of the groundwork is advancing. Ne. As for our dream, before long, so, jitsugensuru is to implement something, to make something in reality, and then to show right. So, as for our dream, before long, it will be realized. Sono tame ni mo, also for that sake. Ima wa, as for now, yari sugosaneba. And yari sugosu here is to let something go or to do something too much. But here we can see it's sugosa neba. That means if we don't or we've got to. This is the same as like shinaito. We've got to do it. And so also for that sake, as for now, we need to let it slide. And then the girl responds with, eh, yes. Sono toki wa, as for that time, machi doshi desu wa ne. And machi doshi here is a useful expression that you see used all over the place. This meaning to long for something, to have something that's anxiously awaited. So as for that time, sono toki wa, 
it is long awaited. And then des to be, wa, the feminine emphatic particle at the end, and then ne, a kind of confirmation. So yes, as for that time, it is long awaited, isn't it? <laughs> so we seem to have some mysterious conspiracy going on here with uh, some lady and a guy that looks like a certain prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have <laughs> so this guy's laughing but really interestingly here we can see that he's his written laugh doesn't quite match the sound of his laugh here we can see this k -k 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 -k. so you'd think he's kind of laughing like k -k -k -k. it's a bit odd and the reason why it's written this way is because this is the word for kind of evil laughter like -ha -ha, <laughs> that type of thing and that's very much how he kind of laughed right like the <laughs> <laughs> the -ha -ha. So that's written as k -k -k -k, but it's just not said that way. I always kind of imagine like a Kefka laugh whenever I see this. Like <laughs> ah, <laughs> And here we can see one of the main characters of Persona 5. This is Sakura Futaba. Here in a cute new art style. Here as she's shivering she says, Tadaima. And then she kind of shivers here with a <laughs> And so this budu budu is an onomatopoeia here for trembling with cold, shivering, that type of thing. But as we just heard, she doesn't literally say budu budu. The great thing about this game is you can actually just replay the audio, so let's hear it one more time. Tadaima. <laughs> So yeah, it's very different. It's like a... <laughs> it's very different from Budu Budu. But it's written as onomatopoeia Budu Budu when you're kind of shivering with cold. So already we can see that sometimes written language and spoken language is a little bit different. Even if it's written a particular way, that doesn't necessarily mean it's spoken that way. This isn't usually true for words, but it is kind of true for things like onomatopoeia when it's based on some sort of sound. Like the sound of someone manically laughing or someone shivering with cold. <laughs> and the next character we have here is Okumura Haru. And so her name is Haru and her last name is Okumura. And she says, A, okaeni nasai. A is like, oh, and okaeni nasai is welcome home. So, oh, welcome home or welcome back. A, okaeni nasai. Samukotta de shou? Oh man, Persona music's the best. So here she says, Samukata de sho? It was cold, right? Gengo kun ga. So, Gengo is me referring to me. Kun is a kind of familiar suffix used at the end of a name to kind of add familiarity. Ga, so I'm the one that did a certain action. And then she says, Kohi irete kurete ru yo. So, Kohi is coffee. And then we have irete kurete ru, used with this quite peculiar kanji right here. And so this is a really interesting kanji here, this irete kurete ru. This is the same as ireru, to put in. But as we can see on this Japanese page here, there's a couple of different kanji that is both read as ireru, and they also mean to kind of put in or to make something. And they're used in different contexts. And so as you can actually see at the very top, there are like four different kanji that could be used in this expression. Kohi o ireru. This is really interesting. So let's just have a quick look at this page just to understand very briefly. And so first we have this ireru, and it's using this kanji, which is often used to express some sort of infusion. And as we can see, it's actually used in this action, senjiru often to kind of infuse some sort of medicinal herb. And we can see that it's used when you're putting fire to some sort of tea leaves and you're extracting the essence of something by boiling it. The one that we have here, ireru, this comes from boiled water coming off from fire. And it's often used for Japanese tea, but we can see here that it can also be used for coffee. It may have a feeling of kind of pressed coffee, but in a broader sense, it can also be used for drip as well. And then this ireru, the normal ireru you normally use, this is for something like pouring into, like pouring into a cup. So in a way, this kanji being used here is more like brewing a cup of coffee rather than infusing a cup of coffee or simply pouring a cup of coffee. And so we can see that here, kohi o ireru, to brew a coffee. And this is something I love about Japanese. It's so cool that there are different kanji that can kind of give a different nuance, even though it's using the same word, ireru, 
you can express different nuances to that action by the kanji that you use. I know that might sound like kind of overwhelming as a learner, but I think that's just so cool. And it's something that keeps Japanese always interesting and a really vibrant, not quite the right word, but like a living, lively language that you're always learning something new about it. It's just so interesting. I really do feel like I could spend my entire life just constantly learning about this language more and more. And while that might sound scary, it's actually a really good thing. I can't see myself ever getting bored of learning Japanese. It's very much a lifelong passion. So you've saved me. Gachi no maji de gokkan datta zo. And so gachi is like seriously, maji de is also seriously, so really, really. Gokkan here is extremely cold. And then gokkan datta, it was extremely cold. So you really saved me. I was extremely, extremely cold. Zo being emphatic. Hora, look. Mona mo. So also mona. Konna dashi. Konna is like this. And then dashi, what's more. So I was seriously, seriously cold. And what's more, look at mona. Mecha hiete na. So mecha is like very, very much. And then we have hieteru. So hieru is just a cool down to get chilly. It's in a kind of slang Japanese. So instead of hieteru, it's hieten. As we saw previously in the Yakuza Zero episode, there's a whole bunch of this where the ru in kind of slang language gets turned into a n. So hieten, hieteru, and then na, like a masculine ne. Neko wa. As for cats, samui to. When they're cold, maruku nandaro. Maruku naru is to become kind of in a circle, and then daro, right? As you can see, the cat in the background is kind of curled up into a little ball. So, <laughs> you're really cold, huh? When cats get cold, they curl up into a ball, right? Tsutsukuna. <laughs> so, tsutsuku is to poke na. Don't. Teka is like toyuka, so, or perhaps I should say, neko janeshi. So, neko a cat, jane, janai, not be, and then she, what's more. So, don't poke me, or rather, what's more, I'm not a cat! So a breath of relief and then ikikaeta. And ikikairu is just to be revived to come back to life. So whew, I've been revived by the coffee. <laughs> ikikaeta. Okay, so I can choose to say moi by do. So how about another cup? Kare mo aruzo. There's also curry or morugano wa. How's Morgana? I feel like some curry right now. I'm a little bit cold myself, so I might do kare wa aruzo. There's curry, you know. Mm, itadako. And then we have another character from Persona 5, Yusuke, and he says, mm, itadako. So, mm, is like, yes. Itadako is the volitional form of itadaku, to receive. This is the same itadaku when you say itadakimasu, like I will receive something. Here he's like, let's receive. So let's have some curry, even though he wasn't particularly a part of this conversation. Yeah, So omae, you, jane, janai, she, what's more, so no, not you, and what's more, omae wa, as for you, saki, just previously, kutte taro, you just ate, right? So no, I'm not talking about you, and what's more, you just ate before, right? Ya, omae janai shi, omae wa saki kutte taro. Wagahai ni wa hot milk o tanomu. Wagahai ni wa hot milk o tanomu, gengo. So, wagahai is a bit more of like a pompous high way of saying I, this is a pronoun, just the same as watashi, ore, and boku. Wagahai ni wa, so as for to me, hotto milk o, so hot milk, tanomu, I ask for. So, as for me, I'll have a hot milk. Wagahai ni wa hotto milk o tanomu. 
ご主人が仕入れてる方のやつなスーパーで買った安い方は料理に使えご主人、here written in katakana as we just saw, right? To give a kind of personality. Here, perhaps because he's a cat, or perhaps he's adding some sort of emphasis on something. This word, go shu jin, often means some sort of husband. But shu jin here can also be some sort of head of a household, some sort of master. Ga marking the doer of the action, so here, go shu jin, ga, so the go shu jin is doing an action. Shi reteru is to be putting something into stock. Shi reteru ho, so the side that's being put in stock, no yatsu, the thing. The one. And then na again, a kind of masculine na. So the one that Goshujin puts in stock, alright? Suba de. So at the supermarket, kata yasui ho wa. So kata to buy yasui cheap ho wa. So as for the cheap one that you buy at the supermarket, ryori ni in cooking, skae. Use it. So make sure the hot milk is the one that the head of the house puts in stock. As for the cheap one you buy at the supermarket, use that in cooking. ご主人が仕入れてる方のやつなスーパーで買った安い方は料理に使えまったくグルメな猫だなモナはまったくジーズグルメな猫だなそうグルメ is like ゴーメイグルメな猫 a ゴーメイキャットだな he is isn't he モナは so as for Morgana Jeez, he's quite a gourmet cat. まったくグルメな猫だなモナは。<laughs> ちゃんと用意してあるよ。<laughs> Again here, laughing. ちゃんと is to do something properly. 用意して is to prepare something. してある means it exists in a certain state, so it exists in the state of being prepared. And then よ she's informing him of something. So put it all together. We have it properly or satisfactorily prepared. <laughs> ちゃんと用意してあるよ。こう寒くちゃ、もっとヒッキーじゃなくても外出るのしんどいぞ。<laughs> And then she says, こう寒くちゃ。So, こう like this, 寒くちゃ being cold. So, being cold in a way like this. もっとヒッキー。Moto means X, and then hiki here actually is short for hikikomori. As we can see in this dictionary definition, it's someone who withdraws from society. And this is a common social problem in not only Japan, but a lot of the world. But particularly in Japan, where society is quite rigid, the paths that people go on is almost set in stone, even perhaps stronger than many other countries. And a common social problem or social phenomenon that happens are these people who recluse from society, maybe they don't fit in, maybe they don't like it for some reason or another. And so they kind of withdraw from it and they live all their life indoors. Doing things like playing video games, watching anime, and stuff like that. So this character here is an ex hikikomori. Moto hiki janak demo. So janai to not be, temo, even if. So even if I wasn't an ex hikikomori, soto deru no. So the thing of going outside, shindoizo. It's exhausting. Kou samuku cha, moto hiki janak demo soto deru no shindoizo. So, Jiro, mo, kore ja kyak ga kia shi ne te boyai te ta shi. So, Jiro, mo, so also So, Jiro, that's the name of a person. Kore ja, in this way, kyaku ga, so kyaku is like for a customer or even a guest. Kyaku ga, so the customer's doing an action. Kia shi ne, and kia shi ne is like an emphatic, grumbly way of saying that someone doesn't come. Yashinai here is used with a must stem of a verb, so kimas. And then yashinai, or here yashine, does not. So with this, customers won't come. Te is then quoting what he boyaite da. And boyaku is to grumble or complain about something. So Sojiro used to complain if this is how it is, customers won't come at all. Sojiro mo, kore ja kyaku ga kia shi ne te boyaite da shi. O kage de kashikiri ni shite moraita kedo, chotto warui ki mo suru ne. O kage de, thanks to that. Kashikiri ni shite moraeta kedo. Kashikiri is to reserve something for exclusive use. So, kind of like to rent the whole place out. Ni shite moraeta means they received someone do something. So, someone reserved the whole place for them. Kedo, however, chotto, just a little bit. Warui ki mo suru ne. So, warui is bad. Ki is like a feeling. Mo suru to also do or have. And then ne is like right. So, thanks to the fact that it's so cold, customers wouldn't come here. He rented out this whole place to us. 
even though it was a little bit of a bad feeling. おかげで貸し切りにしてもらえたけど、ちょっと悪い気もするね。でも、こうしていられるのももう少しだから。でも、however、こうして、like this、いられるのも、and いられる is the potential or the passive form of いる to exist like this。so to be able to be here like this、こうしていられるのも、also the thing of being able to be here like this。もう少し、just a little bit more, だから、that's why. So, however, the thing also of us being able to be here like this, after a little while, it'll end, だから、that's why. でも、こうしていられるのももう少しだから。3年生はもうすぐ卒業。お前は地元に帰るのだったな。3年生、a third year student は、As for a third year student, もうすぐ very soon, 卒業 This is to graduate. So, as for you being a third year student, you'll graduate very soon. 言語は So, as for Gengo, as for me, 地元に to your hometown, 帰るのだったな帰る is to return, so returning back home marked the ni particle. No, だった Not the thing of, だった It was. Na is a masculine ne, right? So, you'll soon graduate your third year. It was that you'll be returning home, right? So, thinking in that way, Ima, now, この瞬間も this moment also. 貴重な時間に、so to an important time or m o e t e k u r u And this is to kind of think to believe to suppose something. So I've come to feel, I've come to think, I've come to imagine that even this moment right now is a precious time when you think in that way. So I've come to feel, I've come to think, I've come to imagine that even this moment right now is a precious time when you think in that way. This means that you'll become kind of sad or become lonely. Or he can say, Mata sugu aeru, which means that we can meet again soon. Now, samishiku naru or samishi is a really common expression. It's actually something I just said a lot, as well as my neighbors said when we were moving house. So when we were saying goodbye to our neighbors, they were saying, Samishi ne, or even sabishi ne. So it's kind of like it'll become lonely. You know, we're not together anymore, so it'll be lonely not being able to see you. That's a nice thing to say. Let's say that. Whoa, boy. お前がそんなしけたこと言うなって。お、おい、so hey hey。お前が、you doing a certain action。そんなしけたこと、言うなって。So、そんな、like that。And then we have an interesting piece of language here。しけた。Now, you probably won't see it using this kanji very often. It's normally written in katakana, but here we can see it can mean to be stormy, to go through hard times, or to be gloomy. And here it's しけたこと。So, a thing that is gloomy. Yuna, don't say te, quoting what he said to him. So I told you, don't say such gloomy things. Chitto, toku naru gurai de. So chitto is just a little bit, it's the same as chotto. Toku naru means it will become far away. Gurai to the extent of that, de. With, so, with about the extent of just being a little bit further away. Isho, your whole life, aenaku naru, to become unable to see each other. Wake jane daro, and wake jane is wake janai, it's not the case, and then daro, right. So, just by being a little bit further away, it's not like you'll never be able to see each other again for the rest of your life, right? Chitto toku naru gurai de, isho aenaku naru wake jane daro. もちろん、大学生になっても、時々顔見せに来るから。もちろん、of course。大学生になっても、even if you become a university student。時々、sometimes。顔見せに来るから。So、顔 is your face。見せ is to show。に、来る is to come to do an action。So、to come to show your face。から、because。So, of course, even if I become a university student, sometimes I'll come and show my face. Mochiro, 
絶対集まろうね海とか行こうよ絶対集まろうね。So, 絶対、absolutely、集まろう。Let's get up together ね。Right. あ、海とか、things like the ocean、行こうよ。Let's go。行こう、the volitional form of to go。So, let's go。And then you're kind of being a little bit pushy in forming someone of something. So, she's kind of teaching them of a good idea. Let's definitely meet up and let's go somewhere like perhaps the beach. 絶対集まろうね。海とか行こうよ。いいなそれ次こそ去年のリベンジしてやるぜいいなそれ So, いいな That's great. それ That. So, that's a great idea. 次こそ次 Next time こそ For sure. 去年 Last year のリベンジしてやるぜ Now, r e v e n g e s u r u is to get revenge on something. And this implies you're making a new attempt on something that you previously failed at. So you're getting revenge by trying to redo it again. So here he's implying that perhaps last year's trip to the beach didn't go so well. And so this time, let's get revenge and do it properly. So, いいね、それ That's a great idea. 次こそ、去年のリベンジしてやるぜ。Next time, for sure, let's get revenge on last year. いいな、それ次こそ去年のリベンジしてやるぜコリネーナリュウジは<笑> The cat has a cool comeback here so コリネーナリュウジは And so コリナイ here is to express someone who doesn't learn their lesson And this is the negative form of コリドゥ To learn something by experience, to learn something the hard way But here コリナイ means that he doesn't learn So even having bad experiences he still doesn't learn, huh? コリネーナリュウジは俺も水着を新調するかちょうどチャクソーが浮かんだデザインがある。ミズギオ、so doing something to a swimsuit、新調するか。And 新調 here is often used with clothes to mean making a new set of or having something made. And here he's talking about ミズギ。So, Mizugi o Shincho Suru is to get a new bathing suit made. <laughs> so, that's a random thing to say, so I guess I'll also get a new bathing suit made. Chodo Chakso ga. So, Chodo is just now, and then Chakso we can see here meaning a conception or some sort of idea about something. And so, right now, an idea has done something, marked by the ga particle, it has ukanda. And ukabu can mean to float up, but here it's kind of to come into mind. So a conception, an idea has floated up to mind, it's popped into his mind. And this is all modifying design. So a design that just floated up to my mind, ga aru, there is. So I guess I'll also get a new swimsuit. A new design just popped into my mind. ちょうど着想が浮かんだデザインがある環境に配慮し使う素材の面積をギリギリまで削減したものなんだが<笑> OK he's a very suspicious kind of guy so he says 環境に so to the environments 配慮し so to make arrangements to take into consideration to put to attention so in consideration to the environments 環境に配慮し使う素材の面積を So, tsukao is to use, sozai is the ingredients, the materials, no menseki, this is like the surface, the area of something. So, the amount, the size of the materials that I use, o giri giri made, giri giri is just to the very, very fine line, made until, so until the very, very closest. Sakugen shita mono nanda ga. So, sakugen suru is to reduce something, to cut down on something. Sakugen shita mono is something that he has reduced. Nanda, he's explaining ga, however. <laughs> so, very suspicious indeed. So, he's saying, in consideration of the environment, the surface area of the materials that I've used, I've reduced to the absolute most I can. So, it sounds like some sort of string bikini or something. I'm not sure whose bathing suit he's talking about, whether it's his own that he's going to wear a string、uh, bathing suit or whether he's talking about someone else's. I, I'm not sure either way, relatively suspicious. And 
and it probably looks like it was his swimsuit that he was referring to here because Ryuji says, Sozo shichimau kara yamero. So, sozo suru is to imagine something, shichimau is to regretfully do something, so to regretfully imagine, so he's imagining something he doesn't want to imagine at all, kara, since it's the case, yamero, stop it. <laughs> so, I'm going to regretfully imagine what you're talking about, so stop it. <laughs> so, so he's probably talking about him in some sort of G-string bathing suit or something, I'm not sure. Ano, gomenne. So, ano is um, gomenne is like, I'm sorry. Watashi ga, so I'm the one that did something. Henna koto, a strange thing. Iidashite, I said. So I'm sorry, I brought up something strange. So it's okay, it's okay. So also after graduation, things that we look forward to, full of, Koto de is like toyu koto de. That's what it means. So it's okay, it's okay. It means that even after graduation, there's a lot of things to look forward to. That's right. So to take the opportunity while you're at it, ima mo. Even right now, tanoshimouze! <laughs> so let's enjoy even right now! Koda or kawari. So koda is a coke, or kawari is to have a second helping of something. So yeah, that's right! Even now, let's take the opportunity to enjoy! I'm gonna have a second helping of coke! Mata <laughs> antawa! <laughs> So, mata, again, anta, you, wa, as for you, so again, you. Chotto wa, as for just a little bit. Enryo shinasai deno. So, enryo suru is to kind of hold yourself back, to be a bit modest. Shinasai is please do, and then te is quoting what she said, and then the not here is kind of adding a bit of emotional emphasis to it. So, geez, you again. Can't you just restrain yourself a little bit? Mata anta wa. Oh, and now we're looking at the TV, and they say, Tsuzuite, so to continue on. Kaskabe toshiro shi, so Kaskabe toshiro, and then shi is like Mr., so Mr. Kaskabe toshiro no zokuho desu. And zokuho is like a follow-up report on something. So they were reporting on something just previously. So here to continue on with a follow-up report about Kasukabe Toshiro. So from the other day, that means whereabouts unknown. Natteiru, so to become a certain way, to become whereabouts unknown. Ken, the matter, nitsuite, regarding. So regarding the matter, since the other day, of the missing whereabouts of that person. Izen, still. Chosa is like an investigation, like a criminal investigation. Ga, susumerareteimasu. It is being continued. So regarding their whereabouts have been missing since the other day, an investigation is continuing on. Okay, a very dark conversation to be talking about with this happy music going on in the background. But first we have Shusho Shime. Senkyo Chokuzen. So, Shusho is a prime minister. Shime is to be appointed at something. Senkyo is an election. And then Chokuzen is just before. Yuryoku Koho. So, Yuryoku means kind of influential, having some sort of power. And then Koho is a candidate. So, a major candidate, a strong candidate, a front runner. 
有力候補と言われている So it is said that they're a front runner 有力候補と言われている Kaskabe shi ni So to Kaskabe Ittai What in the world? Nani What Ga atta What happened to them? No desho And that's asking some sort of question Almost hypothesizing about it So I wonder what in the world happened? The guy who's considered to be the front runner, Kas Kabe, right before the Prime Minister anointment election. So quite heavy all of a sudden, we just went from coffee and bikinis to Prime Minister elections. <laughs> oh, useful vocabulary, Persona is very good for that. <laughs> <laughs> Karewa, as for him, wakate, here for a young person, wakate kouho, so a young candidate, toshite, as a young candidate, chumoku sareteimas. So he is noticed, he is observed as a young candidate. Kara ne, because that's the case, shinpai desu ne, it's quite worrying, huh? Karewa, wakate kouho toshite chumoku sareteimas kara ne, shinpai desu ne. Hai. Hi, that's right. Kasukabe shio shiji suru koe. So shiji suru is to support, koe is voices. Wa as for those voices. So as for the voices that support Kasukabe, oi de shi. So there is a lot of them, and what's more, seken kara, seken kara mo, also from society. So he is observed, right. So it's been observed that there is a lot of voiced support for him coming from society. Oh, we're back in one of the very, very first sentences that we saw when we started this video. So let's see if you remember this language. Sono, that. Totsuzen, all of a sudden, no shiso, that was a new word for me as well. That means a disappearance. So in the disappearance all of a sudden, seikai wa, as for the political world, okina sawagi to natteimasu ga. So it's become a big disturbance, however. Jiken jiko, moshiku wa nanraka no taichou furio nado, are kore sasayakare teimasu ke domo. Kore netto demo sawagare teru no. Kore, this netto demo, even on the internet, sawagareteru na. And sawagareteru here is the passive form of sawagu, to make a noise, to make a racket. So even on the internet, there's a big racket being made about this. Achikochi here and there, inboron ga. So this piece of language fits in a lot, I think, with today's society. We have a lot of conspiracy theories that people are thinking about. I must admit, even myself, I've been thinking about quite a lot of conspiracy theories lately. <laughs> Perhaps it's because of all the stuff that's been going on in the world. But the word for conspiracy theory here in Japanese is inboron. Now, inbo is like a conspiracy, and then ron is the theory. So, inbo ron, a conspiracy theory. Now, you often see this ron being used after all kinds of other words as well to express some sort of theory. So, definitely a useful kanji to get familiar with. Whenever you see this after something, just know that it's kind of a theory of something. Here, a conspiracy theory. Inbo ron. So, this has become a pretty big thing even on the internet, huh? Here and there, it's been said that perhaps there's some sort of conspiracy theory. <laughs> あちこち陰謀論がどうとか言われてる。最近急にテレビでよく見る人だよね。若手の時期首相候補って。最近 recently 急にテレビで。So all of a sudden on TV よく見る人だよね。That's a person you see quite often, huh? 若手の時期首相候補って。時期 means the next term, the next period of time. 首相 the Prime Minister, Koho, the candidate, Te, it's said. So it's a person that you see all of a sudden quite a lot on TV recently. He's the young next term Prime Minister candidate. Sonna Hitoga, so a person like that. 
Totsuzen, all of a sudden, no, she saw Nante. Such a thing is disappearing all of a sudden. Nanika, some sort of yakai na koto, a troubling thing. Janakereba ikedo. So janakereba, if it's not the case, e it would be good. Kedo, however. So for such a person to suddenly go missing, it would be good, however, if some sort of trouble hasn't happened. <laughs> and here they're kind of referring to the previous game. This game is actually a sequel, it's set after the events of Persona 5. So if you haven't played Persona 5, you might want to play that one first before playing this game. Because all of these characters you will get to know as you play Persona 5. And here they're referring to this because they say, Iroiro to owata bakka da zo. So, Iroiro to, in various ways, owata to have finished. Bakka is bakkari, only just does all, right? So we only just finished all kinds of stuff. Sasugani, as expected. Suika stage, so an additional stage. Haya sugita. <laughs> so they're here kind of referring to an additional stage here, an additional part of the game, the story keeps on going. They only just did all of this stuff, so for there to be a bonus stage after that, Haya sugita, it's too soon. いろいろと終わったばっかだぞ。さすがにツイカステージ早すぎだ。こいつのことはよく知らねえが、嫌なことあって家出でもしてんのかもな。こいつのことは、so as for that guy, yoku shiranga. I don't know him very well, however. Iana koto atte. So for something bad to have happened, iede demo. Perhaps something like running away from home. Stendo Kamona, perhaps he did. <laughs> so I don't know too much about this guy, but perhaps something happened and he ran away from home. What? Nanda? What's going on? Nanda? Terebi, the TV, Choshiwarui, to be in bad condition. No kana. I wonder if it's the case. So I wonder if the TV is in bad condition. Terebi, Choshiwarui no kana. Juhatiji, 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 おお。ただ。ん<笑> Ah, and unfortunately as well, that cutscene, I couldn't pause at all. I tried to press the pause button, try out other buttons, there was only the option to skip. So that is unfortunate that there are cutscenes that you cannot take at your own pace in this game. That does unfortunately make some parts of this game inaccessible for a Japanese learner because you cannot take it at your own pace and you can't even pause it. And so the only way you're going to be able to actually kind of study with that language is to perhaps record yourself playing or watch someone's YouTube video. So just keep that in mind, there is unfortunately some unpausable cutscenes. And so that will unfortunately put this game at a little bit of a lower rank when I do the review video. So as we continue on, ne, hey, soto ga, so the outside is, shizuka suginai, so shizuka to be quiet, sugiru to be too much, suginai, isn't it? So isn't outside a little bit too quiet? Ne, soto ga shizuka suginai? Iwarete mireba, nado no soto ga makkara. So if you try and say so, Mado no soto, the outside of the window, ga makura, that means pitch black. So now that you say it, 
Outside of the window is pitch black. この違和感、so, この this 違和感、some sort of uncomfortable feeling。まさか、no way、とは、so quoting or more to think が、however。So, however, I would think, no way, this bad feeling。So, here he's kind of thinking, no way, it can't be the dark world from Persona is appearing here again。この違和感、まさかとは思うが、異世界絡みではないだろうな。And、so, the first word we have here is isekai, and this means a parallel world, like a different dimension. And this is one of the main kind of story points in the Persona games that there's kind of two different worlds. So, isekai is talking about the other world. Isekai garami is a little bit more of a rarer way of saying concerning or about. Dewa nai it to not be the case, daro na, right? So, surely it's not about the parallel world. Isekai garami dewa nai daro na. Masaka, no way. Sonna hazua. So that kind of expectation. Wa, nai. It shouldn't be the case. Date, after all. Masaka, sonna hazua. Date. Ah, isekai nabi wa shomets shita hazda. Ah, yeah. Isekai nabi wa. So as for the parallel world navigation. Shōmetsu shita hazuda. Now, shōmetsu suru is to completely eradicate, to extinguish something, just to destroy it completely. Hazu is expected to be the case. So, yeah, it's expected to be the case that we destroyed the isekai nabi. Ah, isekai nabi wa shōmetsu shita hazuda. Nani yori, waga hai ya omae tachi no sugata mo kawatte nai. Nani yori, above anything else, waga hai ya. Omae tachi no sugata mo. So both mine as well as your appearance also kawatte nai. It hasn't changed. Nani yori, waga hai ya omae tachi no sugata mo kawatte nai. Ja, nan nan da yo kore? Ja, nan da yo kore? Ja, well then, nan da yo. What the hell, kore? What's up with this? Ja, nan nan da yo kore? Okay, so I can say, Ochitsuko, settle down, wakaranai, I don't know, or Soto no yosu wa, how about the outside? So let's take a look outside, that type of thing. I think I'm gonna do that one. Makura de nan mo mienei kedo. Makura de, it's pitch black and nan mo, that means nothing at all, nani mo, nan mo, mienei, I can't see kedo, however. So it's pitch black and I can't see anything at all, however. Sounds like damn it. Iana, something he doesn't like. Yokan is like a premonition, a feeling about something, and then shikanai means you have nothing but. So damn it, I got nothing but a bad feeling about this. Oi, Miro! Oi, Miro! Hey, have a look! Oi, Miro! Ah, and unfortunately, the main character isn't voice acted. So here we can see the main character. He's just thought a line, but he hasn't actually said it out loud, which was expected to be the case. But it would have been nice, right, if the whole game is voice acted. Now, I did see a little bit on the internet. It does seem there are parts of the game later that isn't fully voice acted. So just keep that in mind. I don't believe this game is fully voice acted. If you want to check out for yourself, check out like a Let's Play. You can type into Google, for example, Persona 5 Tactica Jikyo or even Mubi, and you can find some sort of Let's Play. Of the game and just kind of zoom in later in the game and see if it's voice acted or not. But I'm pretty sure that it's not fully voice acted. Not too many games are, honestly, but it would be nice if they all were. <laughs> and so he thinks to himself, Hikari no naka ni nazo no maku ga ukande iru. So Hikari no naka, inside the light, ni is marking where something is happening, nazo no maku, a mysterious mark, ga, so The mark is doing an action, and then we have ukande iru, means it's floating up above. So inside the light, a mysterious mark is kind of floating. Door ga hikatteru. Door ga, so the door is hikatteru, it's shining. Door ga 
光ってる宗次郎が仕掛けたドッキリってそんなわけないか宗次郎が、宗、so, 次郎 did an action、仕掛けた、is like to set up something, like to set up some sort of trick or a prank or something. And then we have ドッキリ。And ドッキリ here is exactly that. It's a practical joke, a prank. So perhaps it's a prank that he set up. 仕掛けたドッキリ。て、そんなわけないか。So て is now quoting what? そんな、like that, わけない。There's no way that's the case, か、I guess. So I guess there's no way that this was a prank set up by Sojiro, huh? Sojiro が仕掛けたドッキリってそんなわけないか。あれ、開けるしかねえよな。あれ、that. 開けるしかねえよな。So 開ける is to open, しかない。We know that means nothing but よな、right? So we've got no other choice but to open it, huh? あれ、開けるしかねえよな。And I can say, それしかない。There's no other choice. Or, 危険では。Isn't it dangerous? But of course I'm going to say, それしかない。We have no choice. Let's do it. そうね。こうしてても手詰まりだし。そうね、that's right。こうしてても、so、even if we do in this way、手詰まりだし。Now, 手詰まり here means a deadlock or a stalemate. It's not something I see used too often, but it makes a lot of sense when you put the two pieces of language together. て、your hand, and then 詰まる to kind of clog up. So, you know, you get deadlocked, you have no other choice. だし、what's more? So yeah, that's right, even if we did this, we're at a deadlock. We've got no choice but to open the door. そうね、こうしてても手詰まりだし。すまないが、お前に頼んでいいか。くれぐれも注意してくれ。すまないが、I'm sorry, however. お前に、so to you, 頼んでいいか。Is it okay to request? くれぐれも、so at the most that you can, 注意してくれ。Be careful. すまないが、お前に頼んでいいか。くれぐれも注意してくれ。ここ俺らさっきまでルブランにいたよなそれにみんなどうして怪盗服になってるの<笑><笑>やつら、those guys、一体、what in the world、何者だ、who are they、so who in the hell are those guys。やつら、一体何者だ。わからんが、襲ってくる以上やるしかねえ。散会して撃破するぞ。わからんが、I don't know however。襲ってくる以上、as long as they're gonna come attack us。ね、We have no other choice. Sankai ste, that means to disperse. Geki hazuru zo. So, geki hazuru is to crush something. So, let's disperse and crush them. Wakaranga, osotte kuru i j o yaru s h i k a n e Sankai ste, geki hazuru zo. Ryokai, miki te wa watashi to pansa ni makasete. Ryokai, Roger, miki te wa. As for the right hand, watashi to. Me and Pansa ni makasete. Now, Pansa is Panther, that's the nickname for the girl in the red. Ni to makasete. Leave it to us. So, as for the right hand side, leave it to us. Ryokai, Migi te wa watashi to Pansa ni makasete. Sore ja, watashi tachi wa hidari da ne. Iko, Fox! Sore ja, well then, watashi tachi wa, as for us. Hidari da ne. We're the left, huh? Iko, let's go, Fox. So, well then, we're gonna be on the left hand side. Let's go, Fox. So, 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 let's go,
正面は as for the front オレラで with us 潰す to crush とすか and then とすか is the same as とするか so I guess we're the ones to go smash in the front んじゃ正面はオレラで潰すとすか Okay, so now we finally made it into the game. As we can see, this part isn't actually voice acted, so that is unfortunate, but as I said before, the whole game's not voice acted, it's just the main storyline that is. However, if you have a look on YouTube, a good chunk of the game is actually voice acted. So let's just go through this very quickly and check out the game. So first we have, Heh, kuru nara, kiagare. So, kuru nara, if you're going to come, kiagare, hurry up and come. Kaito Dun is the mysterious thief group. And then he says, Namen na yo. Now, Nameru is to underestimate someone. Here, Namen, the more casual slang way, na yo, don't do it. So, hey, if you're gonna come, come already. Don't be underestimating the phantom thief group. Oi! And then Morugana says, Muyami ni tsukomu na yo. Skaru. Now, Muyami ni just means thoughtlessly, recklessly. Tsukomu is to thrust into something. Nayo, don't be doing it. So, hey, don't be charging in all thoughtlessly. Aite wa. As for the opponent, ju o. So, ju is a gun. O motte iru. They're holding a gun. So, don't charge in, Skull. The opponent has a gun. And then he says, Tsutateru to nerai uchida. And we can see that tsutateru here is to stand up. To stand in place, to is when you do it, and nerai uchi is to aim and shoot, like here sniping or sharpshooting. Dokka ni, to somewhere, mi o, so doing something to yourself, kakusa ne to, and kakusu is to hide or conceal, and then ne to is nai to, you've got to do it. So you've got to hide yourself somewhere. Sade, hasoko da, over there. Joker. Over there, Joker. Ano kabe no kage ni. So in the shade of that wall over there. Kakurero. Hide yourself. And so exactly as he just said, here we have the cover mechanic. This is one of the elements of the strategy RPG. So you can move your characters around the battlefield and you can actually hide and get cover under things and then attack from a distance. And it can also do things like boost your defenses and stuff like that. So just very quickly, the title of this tooltip is Ido to Kaba. Ido is movement, to is and, and then kaba is cover. So movement and cover. And then it says hai nai o. So hai nai is within range, and then o we're doing something to within range, or through within range. Jiuni is freely, ido dekimas. You're able to move. So you're able to move freely within a certain range. And then it says kabe ya shogai butsu no soba ni. Kabe is wall, ya is things like, shogai butsu is obstacles, and then no soba ni is to beside them. Ido suru to, so when you move beside them, kaba o okonai, so you can cover behind them. Teki no shageki o, so teki no shageki is the opponent's shooting, o, so doing something to their shooting, gado shimas, you can guard it. So let's do exactly that and we'll move behind the cover, the kabe, and we can guard. Yosh, all right. Kampeki na kabada. Kampeki na just means perfect, and then kaba is cover. So, all right, that's a perfect cover. Soko nara, if it's over there, anzen dazo, it's safe. So, if you're there, it's safe. Soko kara, from there, teki o neraeru na. So, you're able to aim at the enemy from there, right? Ute, shoot, joka. Okay, now we have the tool tip for shooting. This is shageki. Okay, this is a pretty long one. So we have square de. So with the square button, shageki o okonao koto ga dekimasu. So you're able to shoot with the square button. Shageki kano na target ni wa. So as for two shootable targets, akai sen ga. So a red line does hyoji saremas. It displays. And as you can see in the example clip below, you can see a red line appear, just as it says in the tooltip. And then it continues with Akai sen ga, so the red line does something, Shogai butsu ni, so two obstacles, Habamareru to, when it's obstructed, Kogeki deki nai no de, you're unable to attack. So, Ichidori o, so 
taking position, kangaete, think about it, unit o, so doing something to the unit, ido sase masho, and ido saseru is to make something move, and then masho is like the volitional let's. It's kind of like giving a suggestion. So when that red line becomes obstructed by obstructions, you're unable to attack. So think about the position you take and move your units accordingly. さすが<笑><笑> And then Morgana says, To. So that's like, Otto. Utte kiagata. Now, Yagaru is to show disdain towards someone's actions, so it's like, Oh, they've come to start shooting us. Ika. Daga, however. Koko nara. So if you're here, Atara ne. It won't be able to hit or won't be able to reach you. Joga. Asete. Tobi dasu na yo. So, Aseru is to get in a flurry, a rush, or a hurry. Tobi dasu is to jump out like a Pokemon jumps out. And then Nayo, don't do it. So if you're here, it won't be able to reach you. So don't get all hurried and jump out. Okay, and we have the next tool tip, block. Here it says, Seno takai shogai butsu no soba ni. So seno takai means tall. So beside tall obstacles, kakurette iru bai. So in the situation when you are hiding beside tall obstacles, shogai butsu no soba kara. So from the side of those obstacles, no shageki kogeki wa. So as for shooting attacks, broku to nari. And tornado is to become, so it becomes blocked. So in the situation that you're behind tall obstacles, shots from beside that obstacle will be blocked. Ukeru dameji ga. So the damage that you receive, mukoka saremas. This is a pretty useful RPG term right here. Mukoka means to disable, to nullify, to make void. So pretty much it makes it zero damage. Saremas is the passive, so it becomes disabled, it becomes zero. So the damage you receive becomes zero. Umaku katsuyo shite, so use it well. Battle o, doing something to the battle. Yui ni susume masho. And so yui ni is to superiority, to some sort of advantage, and then susume masho is let's advance. So the damage that you receive becomes zero. So make use of it well and proceed to an advantage in battle. Oh, Ush, all right. Tsugiwa, as for next, Orega, I'm the one that's gonna do something. Bupanasuka, and Bupanasu here we can see means to fire a gun. Here, very much firing off the shotgun. It's like a real boom, that type of feeling. So, right, am I gonna be firing off next? Yeah. Mate, Skaru. Wait up, Skull. Aite mo, also your opponent. Takurete, ni o namoteru. So, they are hiding and protecting themselves. Kono mama, just like this, utte mo. Even if you shoot, kokawa, as for the result or as for the effect, usui, it'll be thin or it'll be light. Naraba, if that's the case. Ikuso! Wagahai ga, so I'm the one that will. Hikizuri dashite yaru. And hikizuri dasu here is to drag someone out, so he's gonna pull out the enemy from cover. Mitero, watch, Omaeda, you guys. So I'll be the one to drag them out. You guys watch. And so the next tooltip we have here is Kinsetsu Kogeki. Now, Kinsetsu here is kind of close range, close proximity, and we know that Kogeki is an attack. So this is a close range attack. Kinsetsu Kogeki. And we've got quite a bit of text to go through here. So, Taisho ni, so to your target, Chikazuki, to approach, cross button de, so with the X button, Kinsetsu Kogeki o okonaimasu. So you're able to perform a close range attack when you get close to the enemy. Kinsetsu Kogeki o okonao to. So when you perform a close range attack, taisho o fukitobashi. So taisho o to the target, and then fukitobasu is to blow away. So as you can see in the video below, when he attacks, the guy gets blown back. That is fukitobasu. So sono taisho ga, that target, does a certain action. Itamasu, 
Iru is to exist, and then Masu here is the space. As we can see in definition number six, definitely number six and none of the other ones. <laughs> definition number six here, Masu can be the square on a grid. And because it's kind of grid-based combat, right, you walk around the grid and you can hide behind things like squares. And this word Masu you'll see used, particularly in strategy games like Fire Emblem. And you're doing something to that cell on the grid. Ubai toru koto ga dekimasu. You're able to steal it. So if you actually have a look at the animation that's happening right now, when he attacks, he actually steals his spot and pushes him back. And so you can see that's an interesting bit of strategy that you can use is that when you physically attack someone, you can actually push them back and steal their spot and their cover. And then it says, Kinsetsu kogeki o uketa taisho wa. So as for the target that received the close range damage, Gado Jotai ga kaijo sare. Now, Gado Jotai is being in the state of guarding or the guard condition. Ga kaijo sare, we can see that that means to be cancelled. So their guard condition gets cancelled. Sono tanchu wa. So as for during that turn, mubobi to narimasu. And mubobi here is a strategy term to be defenseless, unprotected. So as for the target that receives the close range damage, their guard state gets cancelled and that turn they become defenseless. Okay, so let's do this. Let's walk around the guy and attack him. <laughs> so, ware nagara migoto da. Even though it's myself, that was wonderful. Kore de. With this, teki wa. As for the enemy, mubobi da ze. They're gonna be defenseless. So shoot now, Joker. Okay, then we have another tool tip for this thing called one more. So let's find out what that is. So to a target that's not guarding, when you attack them, to that target, you're able to down them. So when you down a target, Saido twice, Kodo Dekiru Yoni Narimas. You become able to move twice. So that's really good. So when you down a target, you'll be able to move twice. Koreo. So this one more to. So one more to yobimas. It's called one more. Makes sense, <laughs> just like it does in English. Almost finished, just a little bit more. So, so one more hase go. So after one more occurs, betsu no taisho wo, a different target down sasereba. If you down a different target, futatabi once more, one more ga hase shimas. Oh my god! So you can do one more again. So if you keep downing targets, you get to keep moving one more and one more. It keeps chaining. That sounds overpowered. Tsukete. <laughs> Taisho o down sasete. So to down targets in succession. Ippo teki ni. So one sidedly. Kogeki o your attack. Shikake masho. Commence or do your attack. Jeez, that's a really overpowered move. Okay, yeah, that's definitely something you do a lot. Okay, so let's try and do that. So they want me to move to this spot here and shoot the target. I can do that. Sokoda! Joka! Yosh, nerai dori da. Just as you're aiming for. Yosh! Moi patsu, kono mama. Shitomero. Let's stop them with one more attack. Oh, cool. So I get the one more because I knocked him down. I see. So, do I want to shoot? Sure. Izo joka. Soko nara anzen so da. Tauri da. Yosh! 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 Mother, they are got that. So, ah, they've appeared again. Demo yo, however, you know. Yo wa. And this means the important thing is. So, however, the important thing is. Kabe kara, from the wall. Hippe gashte. And I actually didn't know this word. Hippe gasu here is to tear off, to rip off. Hippe gasu. Interesting. Hippe gashte. Zudon dana. And zudon is like boom. So, pretty much in other words, just take them off the wall and then boom. Ah! Sono tori da ze. So, just as you said, skaru. Ima made, up until now, ijo ni. So, more than. Wagahai tachi no. So, our. Renke here is cooperation. Ga juyo da zo. And juyo just means it's important. So, just as you said, our cooperation is more important than ever. 
ジョーカー。ジョーカー。ここからの指示は、so、As for the instructions from here on out, 任せるぞ。I leave it to you. 時には、at times, 落ち着いて、relax, 戦況を、doing something to the battle situations, 見極めてくれ。And 極めぬ is often attached to verbs to express doing it to the fullest extent. So here, to get to the bottom of something, to see through something, to make sure of something. So, Joker, as for the instructions from now on, I'll leave it to you. At times, relax and make sure to ascertain the battle situations completely. <laughs> What looks to be the final tooltip we have. Tan shuryo. Tan is the turn, and then shuryo is the end. So, ending your turn. A, a very important strategy RPG term right here. And then we have this weird button, which I'm not sure what to call it. De, with that button, it's a demo, anytime. Mikato no tan o, so your allies turn, shuryo suru koto ga dekimasu. You're able to finish it. So, at any time, you're able to end your turn with the whatever button that is. <laughs> And then we have Kodo Sezu, that's without moving. Ta o shuryo shitai bai ni. So, in the situations when you want to end your turn without moving, shio shimasho. Let's use it. So, when you want to end your turn without moving, make sure to use that button. Whatever button that is. It's a folder button. I don't see any folder button on my PlayStation controller, so I'm not sure what it is. Or maybe it's the whole big face button. I don't know. Let's try. Is this the one? It is the one! <laughs>、uh, no, I don't want to end my turn. I want to attack. <laughs> I have people to attack. Surely that's what I want to do. Hopefully, that was the right thing to do. <laughs> okay, so I think let's attack him with the sword. Oh, that was interesting. When I hit him, he actually flew over me. So I guess there's rebound on objects as well. Well, that kind of screws up my original plan.、Um, but yeah, let's do that. Why not? It kind of reminds me of、uh, Chopper from One Piece. I wonder if it's the same voice actor. It's probably not, it just sounds kind of similar. Awesome! We did it! We won our first battle! So I think that's a fantastic place to stop it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. An enormous thank you to the people over at Sega for supplying a free copy of this game, as well as a giveaway copy for you guys, the viewers. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting us know what your favorite thing about the Persona franchise is, whether it's just your favorite characters, favorite moments, why you enjoy playing it for helping you with your Japanese studies, or perhaps even why you want to play the game. Try it out for yourself. And a lucky viewer will be chosen to get a free copy of Persona 5 Tactica. I will also be Releasing a short review for this game because I'm going to be building a very big tier list of every single game I can come across and kind of just make a nice short little video just kind of showcasing what game's strengths there are, what its weaknesses are, and kind of put it on a tier list just to kind of give you guys a resource that you can use. Figure out which games are good to learn Japanese with, which games are perhaps a little bit more difficult. Have a look at a breakdown of some of the level of the language so that you can find the best game for you to help learn Japanese with. Thanks so much for enjoying the video. I hope you had fun. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and if you really enjoyed this video, then consider coming and joining us either directly through the Game Gango website or through Patreon and come join us on the Game Gango Discord community. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you're having fun learning Japanese, and as always, I'll see you again in the next video. See you guys. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da